The Changing of Season In the recesses of all time, there is a source that we all think divine, made from our hooves, to create a glue allowing connection between me and you. Ancient spells of factorized industry make this glue to mathematical artistry. I take from you and you from me, so our exchange will ever be under the devious life-giving tree. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose, rhyme, and reason. A time to live and a time to die, a time to laugh and a time to cry. When all of the time of evil is spent, we won't need to have time to repent, for all things will be in the hand of new king, who does not believe in the time bound ring that makes all nature cry with a balance that never stays good and causes the chalice of vagina and womb of the open cup to shudder in fear and to dry all things up. The season of evil lacing with good, the seasons of famine embedded in wood, the seams and times of Jezebel's pact make all guilty of the life-sucking act. To every season there is a time, to every time there is a glue, to all the terror there is a rhyme that we as lovers eschew, eschewing time, avoiding the glue, is done by the chakras, the meridians too. Time in its simplest, purest form is love that opens to knowledge and charm and brings life in without spillage or loss, forsaking false futures, reviving the dross. I am the lost, I am the found, I am the glue lost into the ground, I am the life that fills you with rhythm, I am the savior of fusion and fission. Yet into my mind has come a new light, knowledge of life, giving me sight, sharing with me the power to hear, not with my mind, not with my ear, but in the invisible silent thread uniting all godhood into true head. I take my position of connection lost and use it to bring without tally or cost the new way of life, the new way of flow, and so, with you to true Zion we go.